QScout stands for the Quantum Scientific Computing Open User Testbed. And it's a small quantum computer that we've built at Sandia National Labs that users from around the world can submit proposals to run on our small quantum computer. Recently, quantum computers have uh, demonstrated quantum advantage over classical computers, but these were demonstrated on fairly obscure problems. And so the exact resources for solving a useful problem to outperform classical computers is still unknown. So there's a lot of open questions with the best way to use and uh, build a quantum computer. So what QScout does is it gives users access to the lower level building blocks of a quantum computer to really study how the computer works and what the best way might be to build and use a quantum computer, which is something you don't get access to in the publicly available quantum hardware elsewhere. So unlike the offerings from industry where the objectives are speed and performance, the objectives of QScout are flexibility and control. If you've ever worked in electronics, you know you design and work out the kinks of something on a breadboard, and only then do you send it off to a fab to print a circuit that you want. You know, it might surprise you that we actually had to invent a brand new quantum programming language for this new testbed quantum computer. You see, in industry, if you write a quantum program and send it out to a quantum computer on the cloud, the industry has these optimizing compilers that take your code and change it so that it'll run faster. But our scientist users, they don't want that. If they say they want to have two gates happen at the same time, they mean it. So we invented a new quantum programming language that was extremely explicit and did exactly what it was that the scientists wanted to do. We have five teams of users that are already using QScout to put it through its paces. For the first time ever, scientists who don't have the funds or the wherewithal to build a quantum computer can use QScout to do their studies. And while quantum computing offers the potential to solve problems in new and exciting ways, so for example, you might have a problem like a Rubik's Cube and you might think you know how to solve it, but by quantum computers give you new kinds of moves that you didn't anticipate to solve the problem. But at the same time, quantum computers offer strange new ways to crash that you didn't even think about before. So one of the exciting things that our scientist users are doing with QScout is using it as a means to explore ways that quantum computers in the real world could crash or behave in unexpected ways. And this tool is allowing them to make quantum computers even better than they ever were before. So QScout is based on trapped ions. We've trapped uh, individual ions about 70 microns away from a, a small chip that's similar to computer chip. And we're addressing them with laser beams to control an electron to solve a useful problem. I mean, how amazing is that? So you see, a quantum computer is to a conventional computer as a laser is to a light bulb. Each one represents the ultimate quantum technological mastery of the former, but lasers don't replace light bulbs, and quantum computers won't replace classical computers. But I doubt that the inventors of the laser would have ever predicted that society's major intersection with them would be scanning groceries in the supermarket. In the same way, it could be that the ultimate use of quantum computers is far beyond our imagination. It's allowing as many minds as possible around the world to contribute to problems in quantum mechanics, which are hard problems, and we need as many people as we can get to contribute. QScout is more than a widget that's like a cool thing that people can use. It really represents the effort of over 75 people here at Sandia working for the past couple of years with many extra hours, putting their, their heart and devotion into this project. 